Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and I am here with another array based Java program. So in this video we are going to learn to search an element in the given array. Okay, and we are going to use linear search technique. Okay, linear search algorithm. So this is really simple algorithm and this is expected from a fresher or with uh, one or two years of experience guy. Okay. So before jumping to the Eclipse to write the code, we'll go and see the logic. Okay. So here I have a uh, have an array here where it consists of some elements like 10, 1, 5, 6, 8, 10, 2. So our requirement is like, I will give you one element, you need to find that uh, that particular element is present in the array or not. Okay. So this is an integer array and I, if I give you 5, okay. So I can see that 5 is present at index 0, 1 and 2, second index. Okay. If I ask you to check whether 19 is in this array or not. So no, after uh, check going through all the elements, I can say that 19 is not there. Okay. So this is like what to be expecting here. So how to go, how to write a program to get that. Okay. So like when uh, here we are not uh, worrying about whether my given array is sorted or unsorted. That doesn't matter here. So we are going to have follow a very basic approach in array which is called iterating okay we are going to iterate the array and find whatever we want okay means if i want to find whether this array can consist of any particular element or not what i need to do i need to start iterating the element from the first from the zeroth index okay or from the first element zeroth uh, so i need to go till end of the array but when this is there is a condition suppose if we get the element in between only right suppose i was checking for 5 so if i get the element 5 okay at the second index so why to go for further right so we need to break the loop or we need to exit from the iteration because there is no meaning of going to check it it may be duplicate but that we are not checking just we are checking that my array should contain my element okay so in the in the best case if you go and find it we'll get we'll return the true or something like okay this array consists of that element if that element is not present in the array then we need to return or we need to print like the element is not present in the array okay so in the worst case we may need to go through all the elements and after going through all the elements it is possible that we may find the element at the last position or we may not find the element so that is different uh, different uh, edge cases here which we need to cover so logic is very simple we just we need to iterate it from uh, the from the first index to last index till we get the element okay and if we get the element in between we need to terminate the iteration process okay so let's jump to the eclipse to write the code so here is the eclipse and i have already created one class called linear search array where i will write the logic to search an element in the array using the linear search okay so let me create a method like public void okay uh, search or linear search okay so i will pa i will use i will call this method in my main function so let me pass the parameters so to perform the linear search i will require a integer array it might be a string array also so for that you need to change little logic but like suppose we will have array okay you can push the pull uh, put the square brackets and int element element to be searched okay name nomenclature should be always good so that you can easily identify okay so i require two things only i need the integer array and i need element to be searched okay so we know that we need to iterate the array okay so you can use either the traditional for loop or uh, advanced for loop 
okay for each so anything is fine so let me uh, use the traditional for loop here int i equal to 0 then i less than i need to go till term last element of the array in the worst case right so i need to go and use the maximum thing that is array dot length okay then i plus plus okay so i need to pick the first index element then second then third then what i need to do i first pick the element of a of an index then match with or compare with your element to be searched okay so what i'll do if array of index double equal element to be searched so here i am using integer array so i am using double equal but if it is string then you can use the equals method okay so if if this condition is satisfied means we have found the element okay in the array so what i can do i will have a flag okay boolean flag and i will initialize it as a false okay so once this condition is satisfied it means that we have found the element in the array in this case what i'll do i will put flag equal to true okay once you found the element in the array so there is no meaning of continuing the iteration so what i need to do i need to terminate the loop terminate the for loop okay so for that i will use the break statement okay break statement okay so only one logic i required after completing this for loop i should print whether i found the element or not okay and uh, how i'll get to know whether element is found or not using this flag okay if if after this for loop if the flag value remains false that that means we didn't find the element but if the flag values becomes true okay that means we found the element so let me print sys out or uh, like the logic if flag okay if flag okay so there no need to put any comparison here because it's already boolean so you can directly pass it okay so one thing what mistake i did here i declared it as a local variable so i cannot use this outside of for loop so for that uh, what i need to do i need to declare and initialize it outside of this for loop okay so here i am putting it so if flag equal to true okay element found okay else just out element not found you can write some better just out so that depends on you how you want to write okay so this i have created one method okay let me call let me create a main method from where i will call the function so let me create one array first okay and i will pass the values as 10 then 1 3 6 8 9 and 10 2 okay let me put it static so that i can call it without in without creating the object of this class so it's a linear search okay i will pass the array and then i will pass like i want to check whether 2 is present in the element or not okay so let me run this program and i should see and search element found because 2 is present in the array okay so so yeah element found let it pass as 21 okay let it pass as 21 okay java application okay element not found right sometimes in interview they will little twist it means they will ask if the element is present give me the index okay it's very simple thing if the element you are finding in the array give me where it is present in which index okay at what index element is present okay so what you can do again you can have one 
int uh, index of le okay okay here so let you put it minus 1 don't put 0 okay because 0 is a valid index in the array so i put minus 1 okay so here if the flag is 2 means we found the element okay so in it with the changing the flag value is 2 we should also store the index value okay index of element equal to i right means we got the element and i am storing the index as well okay means at which index i found the element okay so once the element is found we can put it here like element found at index okay let me print the index okay so this is only valid when you found the element if you don't find there is no need to print the index okay so let me run this program and i should see the proper answer okay element not found okay because i pass in 21 so let me change it to 3 okay so let me run a Java program and we should see element found at index 2, right? 0, 1, 2, 3 is present at index 2, okay? So here you can see I use the traditional for loop, okay? So but here we can use the advanced for loop also because this this type of concept is generally observed like what type of for loop we are using and all, okay? So here instead of using the traditional I will use the advanced for loop so let me copy and comment and i will paste it here so advanced for loop i know that this is an integer array so we can treat it directly right without mentioning this kind of things because in worst case i need to go till the end right so what i can do int current element colon array okay so here no need to put uh, the index position just simply use the current element so how the f how this for each or advanced for loop will work like it will give you element in the order one after another okay here you are getting the same thing here also we are getting the element one by one here it will give you automatically okay so that is the logic and if you run we will get the same result okay so where is the mistake yeah so we did one mistake here so here this index i am not keeping in the i am not keeping the track of index that's why it is failing here okay it is giving the compilation error because i is not present so if you are using this for advanced for loop okay and you also want to print the index then it is you then you cannot actually uh, get the index here okay so if you want to print the index as well so go with the traditional for loop if you don't care about the index you just care about the uh, elements then go for the uh, for each or advanced for loop so uh, both the logic you can see like when you can go for normal and when you co can go for advanced for loop okay so let's talk about the time complexity and space complexity as well okay so if you see here uh, when you start the searching for an element in the array right so that, that is possible like it might be present at the first position itself right that is possible in that case this is called base uh, scenario okay base scenario if you found the element uh, at the beginning so you just need to do one iteration one uh, comparison here okay since so, so in that case your let me go through let me go to the here and i will type it here okay so in case of base in in case of uh, based okay based case okay your uh, time complexity will be o big o of 1 okay if you go for worst case okay in worst case it will be what means in worst case what is the possibility you may find your element at the last of the array 
or you may not find the element at all so that is worst case meet you need to go through all the n elements okay then also you are not sure whether you will find or not so that is worst case and in that case your uh, complexity complexity will be o big o of n okay so there is one average case also so in that case also it will be big o of n okay means if the element is fuzzy in between okay but generally we should remember base case and worst case okay and then we have a space complexity okay so this we talked about the time complexity here okay so let me put here time complexity okay then let me talk about the space complexity okay so if here you see we don't require any extra memory location okay we are not doing any shifting we are not uh, what you call that uh, swapping the element we are doing nothing here right so there is no extra element and say so no extra memory is needed here so in this case my the to, uh, my the space complexity will be big o, big o of n okay because whatever we have the elements n elements so n is the length of the array here okay so uh, it the space complexity will be big o of n okay so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video and if you want me to cover any specific programming question you can comment or you can send out a mail to me so thank you everyone